I think I'm live. <clears throat> Someone let me know if I'm live. Say something in the chat. That'd be great. Because uh, my setup is a little different right now. So. It's not like my usual setup. I am live. All right. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome to a Wednesday night stream. <clears throat> As you can see up in that cute little graphic I finished making uh, mere hours ago. Um, this is the classic section, because I'm silly, and all of my, uh, all of my stream titles have to be based on, um, what do you call it, book-type things, because I like to write. I'm very clever. <clears throat> Alright, so I hope I have everything working tonight, <clears throat> because I figured, you know, I want to throw in an extra, I've been wanting to throw in an extra night of streaming. By the way, sorry for missing last night, but, you know. As a lot of you might know, I've been getting over being sick, but I think I'm good now. I have a cough drop just in case, because I wasn't missing tonight. Um, plan is to do these streams on Wednesdays at the same time I usually do my Tuesday streams, 10 o'clock Eastern. Um, it may sometimes be a little earlier, maybe 9 o'clock, depending on what I have going on the next Thursday morning. Occasionally, I might not stream on Wednesdays. Sometimes I go out on Wednesdays. Huh. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my, my voice. You should have heard my voice a few days ago. Oh, it was awful. Uh, it was this horrible. Uh, it wasn't the flu, thankfully. It wasn't strep throat. Uh, I think it was just a really nasty cold that made me not want to move ever again. But I moved ever again. I actually went out of the house today for the first time since Thursday. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. I can't really laugh all that much. Uh, because, what do you call it? Uh, the throat doesn't like the laughter, which is unfortunate because I'm a jovial fellow. <clears throat> but anyway, anyway, let's, uh, let's get on to the actual game. So, the whole plan right now... This is going to be a long series, this first game, because I'm starting out big. I'm starting out with my favorite game of all time, Final Fantasy VI. But there's a little bit of a catch to it. Um, I'm not playing regular Final Fantasy VI. You'll see in a minute. Hopefully everything works just fine. Did that, did the screen change? I don't know if I did this right. Did the screen change? Oh yeah, it changed. Okay. I'm going to be playing Philly Fantasy 6. This was a hack, an alteration to the game. Made by a wonderful person named Drakey C over on um, Fim Fiction. Uh, the entire game has been redone. Not just reskinned, but things changed all over the place. So, we're taking a twist on my favorite game. Just to, to have a little more fun with it. So, let's get going with my favorite game of all time with a new flavor to it. Philly Fantasy 6. Another well, nice little mountain. I've never looked at this mountain, despite this being my favorite game of all time. I've always skipped to the next screen by this point. I've been talking for a while now. What happens now? Does it go back to... Oh, it goes right into the intro. Long ago, the Crystal War reduced the north to a winter wasteland, and the beings called Espers vanished. I don't remember that text being purple. One thousand years have passed, and the unified equestria has been built to new heights of glory. See how the sprites are different. <laughs> I could have sworn this text was white when I played before. I don't know why it's showing up as purple right now. But now, darkness has returned to the world and seeks to plunge civilization into chaos. Yeah, they walk on hind legs. It's crazy, right? <laughs> I I used to beat 
well, the regular version of this game on like a yearly basis. This was, this was one, my favorite game of all time still. Can it be that Equestria is on the verge of a second, even more destructive war? I, I got this game back in 1994 when it first came out. I played it. It was my first like real RPG. I had Dragon Warrior when I was a kid, but I never went to beat them. I played one, two, three, and four. I never went and beat them. This I went through and beat. I love this game. There's the town. I can't do Snips' voice. Especially when my throat not uh, acting correct right now. Do you really think they're found at Esper there after all this time? Yeah, they're in, they're in little mechs. Those are Magitek um, armor. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like this. So this world is full of, well, it's full of technology, but there was magic that they suppressed, and now you'll see. And I really don't like having her here. Did you hear the rumors about what she is? It's bothering me that the, the text is purple now. I don't know why. It was white. You're stupid. They're just rumors. She's just a unicorn. <laughs> Come on, we gotta move. Let's do this thing. So Snips and Snails are working for the Empire. And so, as you can see, it's Twilight. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Couldn't change... These graphics are FMV, so... Couldn't change it to look exactly like the, uh... Oh my god, listen to this music, man. This game's soundtrack is phenomenal. Everything about this game is phenomenal. It is... I'm going to be gushing a little while I'm playing this game. Because as I said, favorite game of all time. Beaten it a bunch of times. I was proud of myself because I remember I had a strategy guide for this game when I was a kid. I used it, of course. But... Oh, sorry. I had to spit out my cough drop. Thing tastes like ass. Um... I remember there was one point where I found an item in a treasure chest that the strategy guy didn't say anything about. And I was like, I'm better than the strategy guy now. I win. Anyway, let's keep going. Here we are, and normally it's the town of Narsh. I don't know what it's called now. Oh, now the text is purple anymore. Let her take the lead. I ain't risking my flag for this. Let's go. I'm not going to be doing many voices. So now we have full control of Twilight Sparkle in her in Magitek armor. Oh, we found a guard! Machine riding self-important mules! Take this! The guards don't like the Empire. So now we're moving into active combat. Um, since we're in these uh, Magitek armor here, we have a bunch of different functions. You could uh, snips and snails here. They could uh, shoot ice, fire, and thunder beams and heal. But Twilight is a little bit more souped up. You'll see when she actually gets a turn. Destroy the Timberwolf. Imperial Crystal Armor. Not even Nash is safe anymore. Nash. Nice. <laughs> I beat, um, no, I almost beat, uh, Philly Fantasy VI back in one of its earlier iterations. But this is the most updated one that there is. The Drake C updates this often. He takes input on it. It's great. Let's uh, skip turns to Twilight, show some of her, some of her other uh, abilities here. She's got a lot more options than uh, Snips and Snails do. Oh, she just took a hit. But that's alright, she's just going to hit this guy with a rocket. Check that out. Oh! 430 damage. Don't mess with Twilight. Snails and Snips gained a level, but not our hero Twilight. It's alright. She'll have her time. Nacious freedom depends on us. Oh, the purple text only happens in the intro. It's a glitch. Okay. And um, Twilight can also use magic, unlike the two of uh, unlike our two friends, Snips and Snails here. <clears throat> so we'll wipe out the Timberwolves here. They had no chance. I don't remember if they have a weakness to fire, but 
any of those beams will take them out. So, so basically, the Empire has come and invaded this town of Naish. And the, uh, the town isn't too fond of it. For some reason, I, I, I couldn't tell you. What well, snips a uh, heal? I'm. It's weird that I did that because I'm weird with this game, and I like to like actually be active in taking part in their characters. The two guards there, now snips and snails. Like I, I never have them heal Twilight because um, well, or in the regular game, Terra. I never have them heal her because they don't care as much about her. They care about each other, and it's it's silly. I'm a silly person. <clears throat> We've got them trapped now. Oh my god. Favorite game. <laughs> oh, it's a pincer attack, so you can have a couple of different uh, attack options here. Um, if you get surrounded in a pincer attack, that's obviously a little bit harder than dealing with a regular attack. Because, oh, 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 it's going to go to the other side anyway. But I will have Twilight use Bio Blast. It uh, hits everyone on one side with Funkadelic Gas action. Little known fact. Guards and Timberwolves are weak to Funkadelic gas. Apples are the replacements for um for the basic tonic potion, uh, tonic healing item. <clears throat> so much was redone in this game. It, people, it could have just been sprites redone, but no, things were completely. Uh, the effort put into it makes me smile. <clears throat> you must defend the mines. And now we got a big battle. But who cares? Because uh, we're just going to bioblast all of them. Oh, big hit for Twy. I'll get the setup in case that doesn't kill them, but it's going to kill them. Oh, man. Twilight is a wrecking machine. In a wrecking machine, literally. <laughs> Let's keep going into the mines here. Into the Nash mines. Our order said they found the Esper in the mine. Maybe this one. Could be. Now before... Um, uh, oh, damn, I was going to say before, I'm just going to heal. Oh, we got a back attack. Back attacks are bad because the enemy gets to jump on you. Um, but that's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. All right, Twilight, you are going to heal everyone here. Snips and snails working, killing these rats. Probably a good job to give them in the show too. Um, well, I'd say they can't really do a whole lot more, but clearly snails is a good buckball player. So I'm sorry, I uh, sorry I tried to say they were bad. <clears throat> it was buckball, right? Yeah, I think so. We're making very short work of these enemies. They're really... It's the, it's, the, it's the beginning of the game. It's to be expected that these things are not hard to kill. Oh, but we got a barricade in the way. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Let me take care of this. Stand back! Not doing voices. I already said it. Snips has his strengths. He's a... Uh, you know... We won't surrender over the Esper. Espers are beings of magic. Welk, get him! <clears throat> Alright, so this is your first boss of the game. As Snails is explaining here, it's a... Uh, a ironically enough, Snails is explaining the snail. Um, what do you call it? He's, uh, you could focus on either of the two parts of his body. He's, you could target his head or his shell, but you don't want to target his shell. Because if you hit that shell, it's going to hit you back real hard. See, this thing eats magic. It eats magic. And stores the energy in the shell. You see, there you go. Then let's leave the shell alone. <clears throat> I said I wasn't doing voice. So what you really want to do, Twilight's going to be hitting it with gem rockets. Because that is by far your strongest attack. <clears throat> 524 damage. That is... More than a significant bit of damage there. I like to kind of hold back 
oh, see, when he says Gru like that, that's when he's going to sink into his shell there. So now, obviously, all you have to attack is the shell, so you just spend this time healing. I like to not activate Twilight at all during this time, because I like to have her primed and ready to send a missile right at that thing's face. Because as soon as it comes back out, it's prime target for destruction. So we'll give it a couple minutes, a couple seconds. He will be out any minute now. Any minute now. Brew! Okay. We're going to hit it with the gem rocket again. It's a very simple fight as long as you pay attention to how to actually fight it correctly. You listen to what the game tells you and you're good. Don't go attacking the shell. It's like it's like uh like that advice about chasing waterfalls. Don't go do it. Again, we'll leave Twilight just waiting here to uh magic missile the thing in the face. I think one more uh Gem Missile should do it. Come on! Any second now! Come on, Gru! 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 Alright. And this should probably send him down. I'll send another beam at it, just in case. Yep, there we go. Alright. First boss, barely a scratch on me! Come at me, game! Apple fritter? The snack, not the pony. I assume. <laughs> Alright, that boss is down. We're going to keep going. And what is this we have here? Oh, what's that? Frozen in ice. This is the frozen esper. Said, who knows? Oh, man. I forget which, um, one is that? What the? See, even the espers are all now ponies. All, a lot, I'm pretty sure all G1 ponies, if I remember correctly. We'll see as the game progresses. What's going on? That thing is glowing awful oddly. Oh, it's one I want to check it out. Unicorn. We don't, we don't know her name yet. But we know her name. Hold on, I have to cough. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to cough during this. <coughs> uh, hear that wonderful cough? That's what I've been dealing with for the last week. It was worse before, though. The frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. <sighs> that is pretty eerie. That's uh, definitely good. Good word. Where's that light coming from? Ooh, ah! Uh Snips is trying out for dis um disturbed. Clearly. Ooh, ah! Oh god, my throat really ain't like that. Oh, he's gone! Hey! Snips, where are you? What's happening? And the Snips and Snails are gone. Everyone's favorite characters in My Little Pony vanished. I'm sorry. We'll give you a moment to reflect on this tragedy. Go back and watch, um, Ghostbusters. Do it after I'm done playing, though. I'm going to be streaming until, like, midnight. <clears throat> Uh-oh. What's happening? I like Snips and Snails, by the way. I like just poking fun at them. Oh, and Twilight exploded. Game over. My little pony. Okay, let's, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, man. Twilight's in bed. And who's that? That's Fancy Pants. Where am I? Or is it just an old pony who happens to look like Fancy Pants? I can't remember. Whoa, and I only just removed the inhibitor. Horn hurts. Oh, poor Twily. <clears throat> oh, what's that? Easy. This is a crystal inhibitor. The Empire had complete control over you while you were wearing it. <coughs> Damn coughs. <clears throat> I love this music! I can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll come back to you. In time, that is. I love the little, uh, slightly derpy-eyed graphics as they look back and forth like that. 
a mysterious unicorn controlled by the Empire and gifted with incredible magic. Let's give her a name! I think I'm just gonna... Stick... A any suggestions for uh, Twilight's name? How many characters can we fit? Six. Do you want to just leave it Twily? Name or something else? Maybe we'll just skip, stick with the uh, stick with the names. Yeah, stick with the script. Twily. Yeah, I wish book, book horse is a little too long. My name is Twilight Sparkle. Call me Twily. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. Hmm. Purple. <laughs> Purple would have also fit. Wait, what? Wait, what? Open up! Give us the unicorn! Ah, uh, they're all after. Uh, you can change your name, but it'll just show the uh, nickname. So, it'll say, my name is Twilight Sparkle. Call me whatever you call her. Oh, so people are here. They're here to take Twilight. Will Fancy Pants give him over to her? I sure hope not. Open this door. We want that mare. She's with the Crystal Empire. Crystal Empire? Oh, hold on one second. Sorry. The script still uses their proper full names at times. In a later part of the game, shiny armor crawls with Twilight, regardless of what you named her. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. Probably because when I went through it the first time, I left her as Twilight, and I just didn't realize it. Look, I have to get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. <clears throat> Over here! So naturally, we are not going to follow him. Because we need a cupcake. Now we're going to follow him. A lot of the clocks in this game have hidden cupcakes or in the original game elixirs. <clears throat> Make your way out through the mines. I'll keep these brutes occupied. Like I said, this is my favorite game in the world. So, oh, right, there's a sprint button. That's not in the original game. I forgot. She's up there. Normally, you can't run at a, a faster speed until you have sprint shoes. But... Thankfully, we were given a sprint button in this one. Come back to the door out. What I... Wait, did I miss something? There's a hidden item on the right side. What? Oh, hey! Was that in the original game? Was that there and I just never knew that? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we got our first, uh... Oh, right, and she starts with bolts rather than... In the original game, Terra starts with fire. It was unobtainable in the original game. They put it one tile too far to the right. Wow! <laughs> you moved it over. Very cool. All right, so we're hitting our first save points. An eerie glow surrounds you. Want info about save points? No. Sorry, sorry. If you wrote, if you wrote important, uh, pertinent info about save points, I apologize. I didn't mean to be that. that <laughs> I didn't mean to be that angry about it. <laughs> I keep forgetting about the sprints button because it just wasn't there in the original. Oh, we got a rogue and a pink cloud. Let's zap them with some lightning. Got a griffin and a... And a oh, right, of course, the cloud gets healed by lightning. I was going to joke around about that. And then it was the thing. So... We'll just have to smack it. Twilight gained a level and learns Rasp. Rasp is a spell that you don't get for a while in the original game. 
I think it damages um, the opponent's magic points. Right, sprint button. Let's uh give gives ourselves a quick boost here, even though we don't have a whole lot farther to go in this section. Bite! Oh, blocked. Take that. Twilight blocked every single one of your teeth. Alright, so let's... Oh, wait, was there a... No. I always get psyched out by that. I always forget that there's not a treasure chest over there. Normally I would use the spells there too, but like we saw, the clouds absorb lightning, so I might as well just swing at them with a sword. Oh, but that's not strong enough for, for to kill uh, the rogue here. <coughs> Sorry, this section is nearly done. <coughs> Probably don't even have to heal. I will in battle if I really have to, but... And there we are. All right. Got her! Oh, no. Oh, no. We've been surrounded. Twilight. Twilight. Careful. No. No. Ah! Twilight has died for the second time. Oh, poor Twilight. Caught in a cavern. A labyrinth of rock. Oh, man. What's going to happen to her? Oh, we got a flashback. My sweet little unicorn. <laughs> With this inhibitor, you'll be mine to command. Ah, Discord. Mm. Mm. Nobody dies in this story. They just get really big boo-boos. <laughs> oh, and that's the origin of her uh, magic inhibitor there. So now we're checking out some of uh, Twilight's uh, training under uh, Discord's Empire. <clears throat> Good, Twily. Good. Burn them. Burn them all! Oh. Discord playing Kefka. Discord's one of my favorite characters, honestly. Kefka is my favorite video game villain of all time. Oh my god, I love this game. Rejoice, my empire. Your true king has arrived. With my new power strengthening us, all of Equestria shall be ours. Let nothing stand in our way. Long live the king. Long live the king! <coughs> this damn cough. Mm. Last night, I didn't re stream because of the cough. The cough is better tonight, but it's still here, as you can see, but I wasn't missing doing this stream. I've been looking forward to this. Oh, God, my Twitch still says I'm streaming a hat in time. Whoops. Oh, but who's this? Everyone's favorite character. Took you long enough. Busy off on another wild goose chase. Former guard of the Crystal Empire, loyal to his princess, and ready to fight to the end for her. We got ourselves a Flash Sentry. We're just gonna keep his name, because that's what we're doing. There's no gooses about it. Everyone's favorite catch. <laughs> I want to see Flash Sentry show up in Season... We're going to season eight, right? In season eight, and say there's no gooses about it. I really do. Brad. Oh yeah, I should have named him Brad. Oh well. <laughs> what does that even mean? Thank you. It it means I know what I'm doing. A flash sentry. Call me Brad. Oh yeah, that would be a good that would be a good shot. <laughs> anyway, I'm here. What's going on? Something important. There's a unicorn that came here recently. I think you know her. You you can't mean her. She was here? Ah, uh, this music! Ugh. 
Yes, under the mind control of the Empire. The Empire has begun their march on the north as we knew they would. I'm not sure why Twiley was here with them, but we're fortunate that it happened. I added that into there. I'm sorry for ruining the script. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll stop the stream. <laughs> We must get her to Cantalot and find out what the Empire has done with her. <clears throat> Alright, I'll do my best. If she fled into the mines, you should be able to catch up to her easily enough. And there she is. She's still unconscious. Poor Twilight. Uh oh, what's going on down? Oh man, all done. That that pony has a hat. Run! Now we gotcha. Oh, a bunch of wolves. I'm scared of wolves. Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Flash sanitary. Flash jackpot. Fun. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got the pinky clones. Normally, these are Moogles in a uh, Final regular Final Fantasy VI. What? What? Pinkie Pie? How are there so many of you? Well, I could use the help. Fun! Fun! <laughs> oh, hey, Spike. Saved Wily from the guards with Pinkie Pie's help. Need more information? Normally, well, I mean, if you're learning the game, yeah, but you're going to have three parties in this area, in this part, and you have to go through this area, keeping Twilight safe, while also defeating the uh, enemies coming your way. So we're going to send uh, Flash out here first. The preppy, pronky, and peepy. Now, normally, Locke, who um, Flash has taken over here, has uh, steel instead of uh, tools. But that's another thing that we changed around here. Let's also send... Oh, wrong button. Let's also send uh, Pinky's party down. Oh, oh, but we got another fight for uh, Brad there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be calling him Brad now. I like to always make sure that um, the party with Mog or with actual Pinky in this game gets at least one fight. Because um, Pinky's character learns dances, or well, in this game, parties. And they're based on the locales in which you fight in the game. And uh, it's very good to get um, the cave one early. I like. Well, I mean, when you first get her to. Uh, whatever. Oh, wait. She started with a party, didn't she? Right, I forgot. Well, it's all right. Um, if you use... Oh, wait, no. Normally, if you use a dance, it's activated for the whole battle. See, new party theme. But in, uh, in our game here, it is different. Dances are a one-turn action. So we'll we'll look at one of those right now with, uh, with old Pinky here. We'll use our uh, rock and roll since this is where we are in the rocks. Do we just get a counter attack? So when you use party, depending on the theme that you pick, you get one of four, three or four different uh, abilities. Usually attacks, there are heals in some of them. I'm gonna send her out again. You don't have to defeat all of the uh, groups here. You can just go through and um, <clears throat> Just uh, go down to the boss, but I like to defeat everyone. <coughs> oh, I should use party again, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna win right here. This is Philly Fantasy Six. I told you what you were gonna be seeing tonight. I'm gonna let him uh, take a break and heal up. Oh, I'll heal him up after this fight, rather. Uh, punky Porky Panky and Peppy. Wonder, wonderful choices. 
No, not that Philly. Not the Philly that won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Different Philly. I would play that game too. <laughs> oh wait, we have to move her out of the way, right? Right. Yeah, you. you. All right, we're going to uh, use a quick. No, you know what? How is the other team looking? No, the other team's pretty healthy. We'll just send her out. Normally, I would do the fight with um with Locke slash Flash right there, but we'll just go straight with uh, Pinky Squad here. Bomb them with snowballs. Didn't do a whole lot. But it does um, put seizure on them and have them keep losing health like that. But uh, he's dead, so whatever. Let's do a rock one. Yeah, we're getting counters. Counters galore from that one. Uh, they had to target uh, the boss with that one. Uh, don't, don't be pranky. Yeah, this, oh, this is uh, another instant kill. Although I think the instant kill can sometimes get um, the guard captain, but I think it's uncommon. Oh, that's a big hit there. And there we go. Got him. It's one of the uh, couple times in the game you're going to see um, switching parties. It, it, it's an important function in some later areas. Thanks, Pinky. Er, uh, Pinkies. I owe you one. Now we're gonna escape. He just discards Twilight, looks at her head, and then goes and presses this button. I think the switch will... Boom! You're awake. How do you feel? You saved me? Save your thanks for Pinkie Pie. That's what I say in real life, too. It's slightly more confusing when I say it in real life. Uh, do I know you? You look familiar. You don't remember me? Well, I guess you wouldn't. I mean, we only met that one time. I'm Flash Sentry. Call me Flash. Or call me Brad. Just for you. I'm sorry. That that stallion said my memory would come back. Give it time. You're safe with me. I give you my word. Question marks? I'll protect you until your memory returns. Trust me. For now, we need to get going south. There's a castle in the desert we can rest at. Little pose. And then we're going. Don't forget that shortcut. Let's try to go back into the town, and they're having none of it. Eh? Who might you be? That's a very intimidating thing to say. We had to run away. It's not safe here. We need to head south to Canterlot. But before we head south, let's run over here and cheerily for a minute. This is a classroom for the beginner. Here we answer your questions about the world. Think of us as your advisors. We're just going in here for a quick moment. Want to get ourselves healed up for free. Uh, might as well save. Why not? Um, we could open that chest, but I'll leave it for later. Oh, wait. There was an item in that. In here, wasn't there? Yeah, cider cup. All right. I always forget if there's anything important in the other rooms. Now we'll leave all the chests. Wait, no. We'll open these chests now. The one in that specific room we will leave. <clears throat> For reasons! 
All right, there's nothing in there. Okay. <coughs> so normally, this area would function as a school to teach you a lot of the things about the game. But I, I know a lot of things about the game, so we're just going to go. And how we, here we are. Death. Here we are, finally, in the overworld map. A leafer. It's a cute little bunny. Murder it! Got him. Sorry, I got a little, got a little bloodthirsty there for a minute. Their tutorial info was updated too. Oh, I should check that out later then. Poor angel. <laughs> We're going to take these guys out with a nice little auto-crossbow shot. I don't remember if that will kill him, but it will hurt. It won't kill them. But that'll kill him. Got him. And here we are in the castle. The Desert Castle of Canterlot. Wait! Hey! Oh, it's you. Proceed. Thanks. And here we are in Canterlot. Let's go. This music, too. I'm going to say that with, like, so many tracks, but I love this music. Oh, wait. No, we don't want to go to the shops yet. You'll see why later. Although we will go up here and get that. Oh, wait a minute. Do we have to go to the shop now to get the tools? Or will we get the opportunity when we have the next character in our team? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just buy them now. I have plenty of money. I know I could... Normally, when you get the character that lives in this um, castle, normally Edgar, in your party, they will charge you less money to buy this. They, they'll first say... They don't want any of the king's money, but he insists. Oh, wait, the chests. An apple and an antidote. That 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 pony really didn't mind that we just stole those from him. It's cool though. We're we're gonna be friends with the king soon, or the the princess rather. You mean she doesn't remember? Remember what? Who are you? Oh man, if that ever happened to the show. <laughs> My apologies. I'm just a bit surprised you've forgotten me. In the original game, this was King Edgar of Figaro, who was an incredible womanizer. And he would be uh, flirting with Terra here. But this is an uh, alteration of the game. The Princess of Cantalai, the ruler of Equestria, commanding the sun itself. We'll leave her name as Tia. I am Celestia, Princess of Equestria. You used to call me Tia. Must be pretty cool meeting the princess, huh? We're going to nod at each other for a couple seconds. I'll go make sure our chambers are ready. I'll see you later, Twiley. And off he goes, like a flash. <laughs> Got him. I know you don't remember me, but we're very close, Twiley. Oh, man. I'm sure this must seem a bit much to take in. But believe me, all will be clear soon. How do I know you? You do seem a bit familiar. <laughs> well, that's encouraging. You're right. I've known you since you were a foal. I've been guiding you to your destiny for years. You have no idea what you're truly capable of. This is a very different conversation in the original game. My destiny? I guess I'll have to ease her into this. <coughs> hmm. A princess of Equestria knows me? But why? I'm just a normal unicorn. You gotta think more about yourself, Twilight. Mm. 
So we're going to move on along. We have another important meeting before we continue on. I went the wrong way for it. Forgive me, it's been a while. I know what I'm doing, but... <laughs> I know this game left to right! Shut up! Apparently I mostly know it left. So we will go over here. No, I was right the first time. Got him. I'm real good at this. No, I wasn't right the first time. I was just supposed to talk to the person in this area. Long ago, a powerful subspecies of ponies existed in this world. Some called them crystal ponies, but proper scholars called them espers. Earth pony, unicorn, pegasi, and married nuts, the espers, all of their kind, can use magic freely. Incredible, I know! No, damn it. Now I look really bad. Because it was this this way. Yeah. Yeah, I go down this way. And it's over here. I was right the first time. Man, busy talking about how much I know this game and I completely forgot that part. The princess has a young... I didn't forget it originally. The princess has a younger sister, but I haven't seen her in some time. I'm a fraud, I'm sorry. And here's Luna. Sister, why do you not take up arms? Are you ignorant to the state of the South? Ignorant? You really think a war is the best course? Sombra has made it our only course. His forces are on their way to Manhattan. Sister! Oh man, she wants no part of that. Why do you hesitate? Tia's little sister who abandons Canterlot to fight the Empire herself. That's Luna for ya. Very headstrong. Yes, her name is Luna. Oh, she was so brash and defiant. She ran away when Tia refused to go to war with Sombra. I hope she's okay out there. This game ha has a large cast, by the way. If uh, if you're unfamiliar with the game, there are many characters to um, recruit in this game. That's one of the things I loved about it. There was such a large ensemble. I don't need a healing, right? I I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Now that we've explored the castle, we can go back. <coughs> Enjoy your look around? Feeling any memories there? Uh-oh. Princess Tia! An em uh, <laughs> Excuse me! An emissary for the Empire approaches, but they don't look like a pony! Oh, this song. Again, like I said, oh, this song for every damn song in this game. Discard. Marching through the desert. Bah! King Sombra has ridiculous orders. Tia, you dullard! Why'd you move your castle to the middle of nowhere? I'm too important to be wasted like this. Ahem. There's sands on my claws. Could we, you couldn't get rid of the sand. It would be blasphemy to get rid of the sands on my boot slime. Thank you for keeping that in. <laughs> yes, sir. All set, sir. Ah, that laugh. Idiots. Discord, what are you... Out of my way. Slammed. Talk. Oh yeah, Flash won't talk to us right now. We have to, we have to initiate. Cancel, I was neutral in this war. Why are you here? I've heard you've been busy in the north lately. 
What if we are going to do something about it? She's the Alicorn Princess. <laughs> Although, Discord is the Lord of Chaos. All right. What brings Discord, humble ally of King Sombra, to my court? A soldier deserted us out here. We're looking for information on her whereabouts. A deserter, hmm? Any pony important? Not at all. But we cannot allow desertion. So, hear anything? <clears throat> Why ask me? <clears throat> Canterlot is a busy castle. I can't keep track of every pony that visits. I forgot how boring you could be, Tia. Fine, play them. I imagine it comes easy for you. Damn! Pleasant dreams, my dear. <laughs> <coughs> Straight fire with that one. <clears throat> now we can talk to Plinch. I can't believe we're letting him leave. Where's Twily? There she is, all purple and everything. Take her to her room. Oh! Shippers, go for this one. I'm sorry, but I must be off. Discord's words concern me. I must ensure Cantalot is safe, if you'll excuse me. And then she's off. Follow me. No, I know where I'm going. <laughs> but no matter what, he's still ahead of you when you get into the door. Your name is Flash. Why am I beating you? Remember this place? It's your old room. Oh. My old room? I'm sorry, but I don't remember. I know, but I'm not sure how long we can wait for you. Oh, man. Tia pretends to be neutral to avoid provoking the Empire. In truth, she's a commander in the main force, an organization opposed to the Empire. I'm one of her contacts with them. The Pony of Med and Nash is one of us, too. Opposed to the Empire, but wasn't I fighting on their side? That's not true! They were using you! Things are different now. I don't understand. What should I do? Derpy eyes. I know things are confusing. Don't worry, just know you can trust us. We'll help you find the answers. There's so many questions I have. That's Twilight for you. And they went to sleep and everything was fine. Oh wait, this music sounds ominous. Oh no. <coughs> Oh, man. What is... And what's happened to Can... Carolot's on fire! No! What's happening? We're under attack! Discord! Oh, right. I have to... Oh, wait. I talked to them first, right? Oh, yeah. These were the... When I was a kid, I always thought they were like the Beavis and Butthead. Like, fire! Fire! <laughs> Twily, bring her to me now. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, then, I will guess I'll just have to smoke her out. Ha ha ha! I'm like half-assing the voice and the laugh because my throat is still not 100%. <coughs> Get ready. Yes, princess. Changed your mind. I guess I have no choice. What's she doing? What's she doing? Whoa, it's birds! Or maybe I do. Mm. Ah! The princess flees, leaving her pony to burn. I didn't think you were so heartless. Jump! Such good aim for those two. We're clear! Cast the spell now! Here we go! 
Oh, what's happening? And, uh... The, the walls are retracting. Candlelight teleport mode engaged. Candlelight shall never fall to the Empire. I have a feeling I should know the name Kibitz. It's familiar to me, but I don't know why. And then the town sinks into the sands. Just pretend it's not sinking and pretend it's actually teleporting, okay? In the game, it's, it's a submarining, a submarining castle. Go get them! Uh-oh, here come some armors. And it's fight time! Fighting against two crystal armors. They hit kind of hard, but they're not that much of a problem, especially when we have things like Noise Blaster. And, oh, that's Tia, right. Oh, Tia has, oh no, this is, um, Twilight. Right, normally Tia would be the one with the, uh, what do you call it? The weapons, like, oh, oh, I just noticed the, uh, what do you call it? The noise blaster didn't work. Noise blaster is supposed to confuse them, but I guess it doesn't work against these enemies. I thought it did. But oh well, we're, we got this in the bag anyway. They're weak to lightning because they are machines. <sighs> Probably should use bio blaster on them. I think they can be poisoned. But, oh well. Doesn't matter. We got him. Mm. Bravo, Canterlot! <coughs> oh, that was an attractive sound. I'll get you, Princess, and your little ponies, too. <laughs> so much for a lousy son of a submariner. We did it! Who was that? Was he after me? I... I'm scared. Twiley, I feel I owe you an explanation. You're my student. I taught you all you know about magic. Then you went missing on an expedition south. It seems the Empire captured you and brainwashed you. I... I think I remember. I, I don't know. You have great magical potential, Twiley. Do you think that's why they sent you to find the Esper? Maybe? I, I can't explain it, but I felt some sort of connection to that frozen pony. Well, your powers are definitely beyond normal unicorns, and if what they say about Espers is true... Uh-oh. Twilight held back. Forgive me. I wanted to explain this slowly, but Discord forced my hook. What do we do now? The Empire will certainly be pursuing us. I failed to protect you once, my student. I won't let it happen again. We need to get to safety, and you want to regain your memories, right? First things first, we will meet up with Zakora and the main force. Please. Let's not dally. To the south, there's a cave that leads to Ponyville. Now we're on a chocobo. I'm gonna travel right down south over here. Uh, when you're riding a chocobo, you get no random encounters, but you rarely get chocobos for free. Usually you have to uh, rent them. How's our health looking? Uh, it's gonna be looking fine because there is a healing spring in this area. Princess Tia, are you headed to Ponyville? Yes, it is a mission of great importance. Return to the castle and tell the others we're safe. Yes, Princess, take care. I hope you didn't teleport it across an ocean before you ask me to go back to it. Uh, no. <laughs> Here we are in the South Figaro Cave. <coughs> or I guess here it would be the, um, the, uh, Ponyville Cave. The enemy encounters get a little tougher here. 
naturally because it can't just be stagnant. So when enemies are confused like this, um, regular attacks will um, unconfuse them, as it were. Oh yeah, I remember that thing, thing that um, enemies kept trying to use break. Those enemies kept trying to use the spell break when they were confused, and it didn't work. They would only try to use it when they were confused, though, if I remember correctly. Mm. I'm trying not to use a ton of MP. But we are two steps from the recovery spring, so... We'll just, uh, recover again. Make our way through this cave. There are going to be a bunch of treasure chests in this cave. We're going to uh, avoid all of them. Because if you leave them and come back later in the game, you'll get uh, better equipment. I think these are the ones that do that. Alright, oh, and they want to use Magnitude 8, but they can't. They're uh, too... Low on it on the So we're gonna use Bioblaster on them because that will damage them and not break the confusion. But then we'll just break some confusion anyway, because we don't want to just sit here and only attack them with one thing. The battle will take a little too long if we just uh only hit them with magic. We can afford a hit or two. And that one was just killed by the poison. Oh, we got a level for old Twily. Uh, everyone's got their best equipment, right? We haven't found any other equipment, so... They would have to. So, it's definitely different for anyone who's played the game that you have two magic users right now because the point of the original game was that magic was all over the place and then um you know things changed um magic was sealed away after a war and um, we were looking at just technology but now magic was uh suddenly experiencing oh this isn't good <laughs> But then magic started to uh, experience a comeback. That was the whole big thing. Uh, could you could you wake up? Could you wake up now? If, if you'd be so kind. Celestia only has healing magic at the moment. There we go. But uh, a little too late because it's dead. All right, so let's keep going. We'll leave the treasure chest, like I said. A lot of battles, but that's good. It's good to have a lot of battles because then you get nice and uh, leveled. I'm probably being a little too conservative with my magic. <coughs> I think the auto crossbow should finish them all off. Nope, just the uh, just the one. Oh, why? Come on. Putting my uh, big hitter to sleep. Alright. You're dead. And that is that cave. Short little jaunt. Gets you used to some more slightly harder enemies. Nothing you can't handle, though. Give the game another little save, because I save often. This is one of my favorite songs in the game, by the way. The the regular overworld theme. It's so nice. 
Let's uh, enjoy this for a couple more seconds. Okay. Here we are in Ponyville. Oh, who's that? Hey, Fluttershy. Let's follow her, shall we? Get out of the way! Let's follow her, shall we? Uh, we lost her, but she went to the cafe. I know that because I'm I'm magical. This wasn't the original song, but I love that. This a rare music change that makes it, it's a good one. Give it a second. I'm pretty sure this is Fluttershy's Lament, if I remember correctly. Very well done. I, I, I like this. At the very least, you can give me a response. Wait a moment. I remember her from the letters. Twiley, it's her! A skilled tamer of animals with a timid and quiet nature. Where she goes, her rabbit is sure to follow. Shy. That's Shy. She was one of your friends. Think she'll accompany us? I guess not. Oh, um, I'm sorry, but I really can't help. I'm I'm not much in a fight. Uh, don't sell yourself short, Flutter Shy. Enjoying this music for a little longer. Oh wait, this connects to the relic shop, I think. Up through the inn. Yeah, I think the relic shop is over here. There we go. Equip relics to gain a variety of abilities. This will increase my speed. I already have a button that does that. Oh, hey, Spike. Relics give your party members a variety of abilities. For example, Fury Band allows counterattacks in battle. Thief Shoe lets you steal enemies. Steal enemies. Yes, steal items from enemies. Wing Shoes add the dive command to your battle list. Back Guard prevents back and pincer attacks. Back Guard's a good one. Other relics raise stats and negate status elements or teach spells, and some are more unique. That is a grammatical fallacy. More unique? No offense if you're still in here, Drakey. Uh, but the more unique. Either you're unique or you're not. <laughs> <coughs> I don't think you wrote that part anyway. I think that's an original line in the game. Not means to call any shade here. Throw any shade. Um, I don't think we actually. You know what? Which one is the one that poison? Yeah, we want to be protecting against poison. I'm gonna buy one of those. Buy a face mask. I never remember if that's like a good time to uh. Be buying those relics. Let me arrange these because I'm crazy. So each uh, each character can equip two relics. We're gonna give uh, Twilight the uh, amulet here. Give Flash the face mask. No, no, wait. Protects against mute. Flash doesn't need anything. He's good. Hey, get out of the way! Hey, hey! Oh, hold on. We have a couple of things to do. Apple? Fire Ruby? Um, we'll go over here. Do it, have a nice little, uh, nice little time exploring Ponyville. Silver Spoon Diamond Tiara. My daddy is very important. He wants dimes with shining armor. No, it is not a lie. Shut up! Oh, man. A little Spitfire. Not literally. Not actually Spitfire. Clank, 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 clank. I'm wearing crystal armor. 
Silver Spoon is a lot more nice and playful. And talk to our uh, filthy rich here. Attack from the east. That way, the... Hey, I'm writing a very important little letter. Personal. I'm a master of speaking. Good night, Drakey. Thank you again for making this. I will be streaming this for a long time. <laughs> well, not literally t tonight. I'll be streaming till midnight. But I'm doing two-hour blocks of this. So it's going to be a, it's a long game. Oh, uh, sorry. You startled me is all. It's cool. There's always a nasty draft in this room. Where is it coming from? Oh, spoiled rich. Get out of here. I knew there was one more. Okay. We'll grab us a whole bunch of uh, items and stuff. There's one here. Do we want to buy any uh, weapons? Let's see. The iron sword is better. All right. Right. The crossbow for uh, not the crossbow. The blade for Celestia here. A sword for Twilight. Iron splints for everyone. Uh, we will get back to the support bits because we can't afford them at the moment. <sighs> Anything we can sell without a uh, issue? I don't think I want to sell the uh, other weapons and armor we have because we will be getting more characters thanks Colgate Minuet I'm sorry still got locked on her uh, fan name for a moment but I, I, I should have said I love the name Minuet so Apple Alright, I think we've explored all we need to in this town right now. A little shortcut there. That will be important later. Do we still have money to go to the inn? Let's see how much it costs. I don't remember. 80 bits. Get a nice little heal. Get our, our magic back. Health back. <clears throat> now I'm going to say from now, it's entirely possible in the next area I go to that I die. Um, if I remember correctly, this version of the game is a little harder than normal. And I would even once in a while die in the normal game. So, in that area. Why don't I ride a chocobo? No, we got it. Oh, well, okay, you're going to tell us anyway. Press the A button or up on the control pad to go forward. Steer with the control pad. Press the B button to dismount. Careful, once you get off the bird or return to its pen. Yeah, so we're going to be using the chocobo to get to the next area just to skip some battle. But before we go to that area, we got a little, uh, a little house to check out up here. Why is there a house all by itself over here? What could that be? Let's look. Hmm, what's that smell? I don't know. These dishes, moon patterns! And this, her favorite tea. An apple, her favorite apple. Alright, we could have just healed here. We wasted, uh, wasted money at the end. Flowers, her favorite. Oops. Well, we, we slept twice now. It's cool. Her favorite boxes. Her favorite chair. Her favorite table. Her favorite this thing on the wall. 
Her favorite three beds. Luna, she was here? Oh, who are you? Who? Thank you. Yeah, I want to know too. You know Luna? Of course. She and Zakora stay here all the time. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A griffin was by looking for her the other day. There's something going on. Her favorite turnip! Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Alright, let's make our way to the next area. Right over there. It's very close. Saving again. Because it's what I do. And here we are in Unicorn Range, formerly known as Mount Colts. Wait a minute! It was already called Mount Colts! Why didn't we leave? Alright, let's keep going. So this area is a little hard, honestly. I always found this area a little tough when I played as a kid. Like, th these enemies are beating the hell out of... She's dead. The princess is dead. <laughs> like I said, this area is actually a little tough. Uh, let's, let's, uh... Let's, let's, let's um, try to revive her. Which one of these? I don't have anything that uh, brings back from the dead, do I? Well, back to, uh, back to Ponyville. <laughs> oh no, not to Ponyville, back to um, Luna's little house there. Maybe we should have bought some items. How much money do we have? 261. We can head back to uh, Ponyville for a minute. The princess fell in combat. The all-powerful princess! Well, that, that was a... Like I said, um, despite all my experience of the game, I may have trouble in this area, because it is not an easy little area. I just have to remember that we can run away if we want. We'll let them uh, punch each other a little bit. Or punch themselves. This is also entirely possible. Oh, you're almost dead. Not, not waste any more magic. I think we would have been okay if they hadn't focused all their effort on Celestia there. Alright, there's nothing down there. Forgot. Oh, they actually have enough MP to cast break. Oh, just gored himself. That's that's gotta hurt. All right, come on, go down, go down. Be defeated. B E defeated. B defeated. B E. You're not defeated. Oh, nice hit. Quietly learned slow. There, we got an offensive attack for uh, Celestia. Offensive spell, rather. Eat some apples. You're fine. Let's uh, go around here for a little item. A little out-of-the-way item. Uh-oh. Oh, 
All right, well, now she has fire, and these guys are weak to fire, so that's a good thing. I thought they were weak to fire. Oh, they are, yeah. It's definitely weak to fire comparing those numbers. A curved knife. Uh, that is probably a weapon for you. Yep. So, we bought an extra iron sword for him for no reason. It's alright. Live and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. I'm sorry. I probably... Oh, well. If I had known they were going to concentrate on Celestia again. Good to know. Mammoths hate Princess Celestia. Oh, no, no, don't heal yourself. Oh, shoot. That's a waste. Hit, uh, I hit A too fast there. I probably should have grabbed some items before I came in here. There we go. Uh, any refresh? What is a refresher again? Oh, right. We did have the... I feel like such a fool. Alright, you're going to think this is dumb. You're probably going to be annoyed that I'm doing this, but I'm running back to town. I need to buy a tent. At least one. Did not spend enough time uh, buying things. We need supplies. We'll be right back to this. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Why is my wrist hurting all of a sudden? Um, one thing about streaming this game, uh, streaming any RPG, I mean, there's times where I have to grind. I'm going to try to do my best to grind off camera instead of making you guys watch that. I don't think uh, we'll have to worry about it for a while. But when, when grinding comes up. I'll do my best to do it off camera. Oh! I actually got a desperation attack! Um, uh, when, when your characters are in their weakened state like that, when they're low on health, there's a very small chance that desperation attacks will happen. Everyone has their own special attack, and that was Celestia's. I have almost never seen those in the regular game. That's a rare occurrence for me. Wow. It was like, it's such a rare thing that I practically, it took a while for me to even find out that it existed. Alright, let's get some items and then let's get back to uh, finishing that area up there. Get back to uh, what should have been called Mount Colts. <laughs> Nice and uh, supply. A tent is almost all the money I have. But screw it. We need it. Everything is expensive. I'll grab one of those too. Come 
can we afford some more armor now? Uh, we could get one shield. I don't remember having this much issue with uh, money in the regular game. Oh, who's going to equip the one shield? Whose defense is lowest? 93, 99, 85. We'll give it to Twilight. Everyone else is good? All right. Back to the mountain, the Unicorn Range. This time, hopefully, Celestia will not die instantly. Alright. Well, at least this is going to be good, um experience <coughs> I love when they punch themselves out of the confusion whoa that does a lot more damage than I thought good to know So we're uh, looking at concentrating on Bioblast from here on out, I suppose. We're going to try to conserve our magic a little bit. Oh, Bioblaster just wipes them out. Good, good deal. Go to this little hidden area. Get ourselves a nice little treasure chest with a bracer ring. That is a relic, I believe. Yeah, it raises fight damage. He's not going to be fighting a whole lot, though. Maybe we'll give that to Celestia. Because she'll be fighting when. Um, what do you call it? When I don't want to use her magic. Next Flash is going to be using a lot of Bio Blaster, especially around those uh, brawlers, because I think they're weak to it. I probably should have uh, done a group heal instead. Oh, we got a little uh, parry there. All right, heading on up. Oh, who's that? It's, it looks like a griffin of some sort. All right, these guys, I think, are weak to fire. They are... I remember specifically that they um, heal from poison. They absorb poison, so we will not be using poison on them. Shockingly enough. Yeah, they're weak to fire. Alright, we good. Let's give Celestia an apple. I'd like to give Celestia an apple. I just walked out, out of my house one day and we knew there was a tent there. Well, it's good to have another one. Take them out with fire. Let's fight them in twilight.
this isn't the longest area, but it feels long when you uh, have these enemies that are giving you issues. And it feels longer when you have a person like me who had to, who had a character die the first time, then left and healed, and then left and shopped. Oh, actually, it is a little longer than that. The, the last little section is pretty long. Well, it's long comparatively. Not long, long, but... <coughs> we'll just let them take themselves out. Hopefully they will. Arrow. Alright, don't like be something where that heals you. Okay, good. Oh, took an extra step and got attacked. God, they just wrecked that one. That was like the unpopular of the one of the group, I guess. Screw this one bird in particular. Come on. Overstayed your welcome. Right, here's the save point. That's where we want to use our tent. The tent, um, what do you call it? You use that save point during the overworld and it recovers all of your hit points and magic points. And it shows your cutie mark there. give it a save I think we're gonna finish this area I might call it call it a night because I was planning on finishing at the latest at mid, around midnight because I wanted the, the streams of this game to be longer because it is a long game so if I'm sitting here like doing hour-long streams it's gonna be a lot of episodes so at least two hours long will make it the same amount of uh, whatever it, it'll be less episodes the same amount of stream days, because, no, whatever, it's less episodes, it's, it's, well, I, shut up, Eric. <laughs> now, this is the long and winding path to the, the boss. Emphasis on the winding. Oh, that didn't finish you off? Whoopsie. This should finish you off. There we go. I love the victory music. I love all the music. I know I've said that a number of times, but this is my favorite game ever! I remember playing this the first time as a kid and um, dying like a number of times on my way from that save point to that boss. And it just annoyed the hell out of me. Right. The bolts should probably finish them off. Almost saw them. And he'll punch himself to death. Okay. Cool. Alright, so right before her, let us use some healing items. Um, cider cups. You're both okay. And let's do this! Hey, losers! Oh! What a jerk! Gilda! Gilda, what are you doing here? You were shadowing us earlier, right? 
So you saw me, huh? Too bad, dweebs. I've got my orders. King Sombra sends his regards. Alright, so we're in our boss battle. With Gilda and two bears. Uh, let's bioblast them. You have to kill the bears first. You can't take Gilda until you kill those bears. We're gonna hit him with everything we got. I don't know how Gilda convinced two bears to uh, get her back. We probably could have noise blasted the bears, I think. That's cure. Oh, that would have hurt. That'll pro oh, that didn't kill them? Bears are a bit tougher than I remember. Okay, here we go. Down to just you and us, Gilda! How does your uh, regular attack... How much does it do? 91, respectable. Not respectable enough, though. I think you're uh, auto cross. Oh, I forget if she's weak to uh, bioblaster or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Lame. Is that all you got? Ooh, fifty-four. Oh, oh, hitting me hard. All right, that does it. Now I'm going to get serious. Gilda! Oh, wow, well, it's Luna. Princess Luna? Gilda, you traitor. You betrayed Equestria. You've sided with Sombra. Give me a break. He's going to rule Equestria. I just picked the winning side. You're a fool. Sombra will never rule. And who's going to stop him? You? Don't make me laugh. Such insolence. Do you truly think Sombra's power outstrips our own? Sombra's power? I'll give you a taste of his power myself. Esper magic windstorm. So now this moves into a battle just between Gilda and Luna. Or Sabin and... Why don't I remember the character's actual name? I'm a little ashamed of my knowledge. Dwayne, I think. I could be wrong about that. But it is a scripted battle. Still here, Luna. I guess I've no choice. I'll bring your crown to Sombra as my trophy. It's a scripted battle because um she's cast Tomb Claw on you, and you have to use your Blitz to prove to her that you're a fighter. I did the Blitz wrong. I know I did it right, but the input read wrong. <laughs> Traditional uh excuse. What? I thought it was left, right, left. Could have sworn that command was left, right, left. Let's try right, left, right. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> what the hell? I was doing the commands right. I'm positive. I'm sure I was doing that commands right. You're supposed to hit her as soon as you hit her with that blitz. It um ends the battle. I guess we're doing that section again. Well, I said before we went into this, I'm like I said it's entirely possible that I will die at some point. I just didn't expect it to be like that. That wasn't the way I expected it to go down at all.
what was going wrong with that blitz? I'm positive I was hitting the right input. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we get back to it. Sorry, that, that just bugs me. I should have had that battle. Ooh. I have to make this part so long and winding. I was hoping to give me a little break and not uh, have another battle, but I hoped wrong. I mean, I didn't hope wrong, but you know what I mean. It didn't work out that way is the thing I should have said. Oh, the gore was a counterattack. Good. All right. I thought he was goring me. I was goring her. <laughs> so I don't remember if I ever finished the sentence. That part was a scripted battle. As soon as you do that correct blitz commands to her... Um, she's like, oh, you're strong, and she leaves. <coughs> All right, um, now we'll use the, uh, Cider Cup. He's on you. Don't use both of them, that'd be, uh... Bit much. Blah 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 blah. <coughs> we already read all this. Okay. Let's get back to this. This time it's all us if that command works. Well, the command had better work. Let's give a nice little heal. Oh, shoot. Wind Slash. That's not good. I hope you survive that. Oh, just barely. Give another cure. We got lucky when we fought her the first time. She didn't use that at all. <coughs> Sorry for all the coughs. Uh, again, getting over being sick. <coughs> Alright. Here we go. Jesus! Gloves are getting bad now. Gotta toss it with. Ah. Cough drop. Alright, we're good. Oh, that's so rude. <coughs> Alright, here we go. 
Moon's coming out, blah, blah, blah. We saw this already. Maybe I was doing the, the motion too slow the first time. Oh, we'll see this time. I'll try a little faster. <laughs> no. That's not the wrong command input. Now I did really... Uh, what is up with this? I'm doing the commands. And I'm down again. Alright, well, I'm going to save and finish for the night and look into why that command isn't working. Huh. Alright, well, this has been uh, the first episode of Philly Fantasy 6. Hopefully, I'll be continuing this each Wednesday. Hopefully, we'll uh, do a little better next time. I mean... It wasn't really my fault. I know I'm inputting that command properly. I'm very experienced with this game. It's left, right, left, and then you hit A again. But thank you for tuning in for the first Classics Night. Uh, I'll be back to stream again on Tuesday and then Wednesday. Uh, so you guys, whoever's here, still here, you guys have a great night, alright? Toodaloo!